This is the new Shannon class all-weather lifeboat that's going to replace the Mersey class. As you can see, the hull is a new design that replaces the experimental boat that had a problem in off-sea performance. The new hull was designed in-house by our naval architect, Peter Eyre. We'll now move to the stern of the vessel so I can explain some more uh, interesting features of this particular boat. The stern of the vessel, unlike other more traditional or weather lifeboats, were powered by water jets. They give increased maneuverability, but also allow us to operate in shallow water. And for a beach launch and recovered lifeboat, that's a particular advantage. The stern of the vessel and the after deck are much larger than the Mersey class, which gives us an advantage when we're dealing with helicopter operations or towing operations. It allows the crew to work on deck in a much more efficient manner. We'll now go on board the Shannon class all-weather lifeboat so I can explain some of the other interesting factors to you. On the starboard side, we have the casualty recovery davit, which swings out 90 degrees to the vessel and allows us to actually recover people efficiently from the water. Um, the windows of the Shannon class are all bonded in, another, unlike other lifeboats where they were bolted in. This makes it easier for production, also gives a nice fair surface for operation at sea. Um, much more efficient and just as strong. But what's different about this boat is that we have a sea catch. Unlike the Mersey class, where we have four chains that hold the boat to the carriage, on the Shannon class we have one sea catch which holds that back onto the actual carriage and when we want to launch, all we do is release with a single button on the upper steering position that allows the strop to release and the boat then drives off the carriage. So that makes the operation much more efficient and much safer for the crew. This is the upper steering boat, sorry, upper steering position of, of the Shannon class and the coxswain helmsman can actually control everything from the boat's point of view propulsion wise from this particular position. The other interesting thing about this boat the same as the Mersey is that the mast, because it's a boathouse housed boat, has to be fully collapsible. So by unlocking certain levers on the boat, the glass then comes down horizontally to actually reduce the height of the boat to the level of the roof, and then it can actually be housed inside the boathouse in an efficient manner. This is inside the wheelhouse now of the Shannon class, and as you can see, we've got six seats, one for each of the crew. The seats are designed much like the Tamar seat, but they're fully suspended, as the Tamar is as well. So in rough conditions, the seats will actually move up and down on shock absorbers to absorb the shock and safeguard the crew from any particular shocks to their bodies. And each of the crew have a SIM system, which enables them to look at navigation information, machinery information, everything they need to actually look at on the SIM screen enables them to stay in their seats without going down below and that's particularly important in rough seas where they want to stay in the seat and get to the point of rescue as safely as possible. This is the helm seat of the Shannon class lifeboat. And as you can see, similar to the upper steering position, you've got a set of throttles, two throttles that can control the actual water jet ahead and the stern movement, and the engine throttles which control engine speed. So by using the combination of these two, you can make the boat do pretty much everything you want. Unlike the upper steering position, this position has a joystick control for port and starboard movement. So it makes it, everything's easier. What we'll do now is move into the survivor space down below so I can talk a little bit more about this boat. We're now in the survivor space. And this space is designed to sit six survivors, three on the starboard side and three on the port side. Also, you can have other people down here standing up. Okay, I'm now at the entrance to the tank space where we've got two tanks, the starboard tank and the port tank that hold about 1,200 litres of fuel each. We'll now go through to the engine room compartment where I'll explain a little bit more about the engineering aspects of this particular vessel. We're now in the engine room which contains two of the high-speed diesel Scania diesel engines each rated at 650 horsepower. These engines will propel the vessel with the water jets at a speed in excess of 25 knots. The water jet space, which is the one through the door on the back end there, contained two Hamilton water jets. And as I talked when I was on the upper deck, they provide the power to give the boat the 25 knots in excess speed. 
That concludes our tour of the Shannon class or weather lifeboat, the newest class of lifeboat for the RLI. If you have any more questions, I'm sure you'll be able to find the information on the Shannon class website. And thank you for your continued support. Bye bye.